Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Friday released over rupees 18,000 crore to more than 9 crore farmer families under the Pradhan Mantri Kisan Saman Nidhi with the push of a button. Modi enabled the transfer of money at an event which the ruling BJP has made into a mega exercise to reach out to farmers by having its leaders interact with farming community at more than 19,000 venues across the country and also listen to the Prime Minister's address. Cold conditions intensified in Kashmir as the minimum temperature dropped at the most places in the valley on Friday. The weather office had forecast that possibility of light rain and snow over a few days from Saturday. There is no forecast of any major snowfall activity till the end of this month. Traffic on Friday suspended on the Jammu Srinagar National Highway for the maintenance work while the historic 86 km long Mughal Road remained closed due to the accumulation of snow and slippery road conditions. However, one-way traffic continued on 270km long Srinagar Lane National Highway, the only road linking Union Territory of Ladakh with Kashmir, despite accumulation of snow on the road, particularly at Zojila. The UT administration had announced the suspension of the traffic on Friday to allow the National Highway Authority of India to undertake necessary maintenance and repair work on the road. Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Friday squarely blamed those with the political agenda for the deadlock in the government's talks with protesting farmers and said, genuine apprehensions about MSP candidate have got overshadowed by unrelated issues such as the release of those accused of violating and making highway toll free. While putting up a strong defense of the three new farm laws, Modi said, Centre is willing to resume the dialogue on the farmers' related issue even with those staunchly opposed to his government as long as the talks are based on issues, facts and logic. People in different parts of Jammu region celebrated Christmas amidst the COVID-19 pandemic in the limited numbers. Locals of Jammu and Kashmir offered prayers on the occasion at the St. Mary's Garrison Church to mark the birth of Jesus Christ. Devotees gathered at the church in and conducted prayers and were practicing social distancing amidst the pandemic. Narendra Modi will launch the Ayushman Bharat Pradhan Mantri Jan Arogya Yojana Sehat Scheme for the residents of Jammu and Kashmir on Saturday. It will provide benefits to 2.1 million eligible people on the basis of social economic and caste census 2011. According to the officials, eligible beneficiaries will get universal healthcare coverage as per the SECC flagship health scheme of the central government, which was launched in 2018 and provides a cover to up to Rs 5 lakhs per family every year for secondary and tertiary care hospitalization. The trend of more daily recoveries from COVID-19 than the number of new infections has led to a continuous contraction of India's active case load which presently stands at 2,81,919 and accounts for nearly 2.78% of the total infections, the Union Ministry said on Friday. Continuing with the trends of the last 28 days, India has reported more daily recoveries than the new daily recoveries in the span of 24 hours, the ministry said. Bharati Janta Party MP from Ladakh, Jamyang Sering Namgyal, on Friday 
said that under the leadership of Prime Minister Narendra Modi, it is for the first time that people of Ladakh feel safe. He said, till the present leadership in the country is in power, the people of India need not worry as the government is protecting the country from outsiders. सीमावर्ती इलाका चाहे वो लद्दाख हो चाहे वो अरुणाचल हो किसी भी जो बॉर्डर एरिया है एक इंच जमीन भी जो है बाहर वालों के हाथ में Christmas birth anniversary of Jesus Christ on Friday was celebrated with religious fervor and gaiety in Kashmir Valley. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, night prayers in the churches were limited to only few devotees. However, special prayers during the day were held in the churches in Srinagar and world famous ski resorts of Gulmarg. The main prayer meeting was held at the Holy Family Catholic Church on Maulana Azad Road Church, where devotees including the women and children from different parts of the city participated The Jammu and Kashmir police on Friday arrested a terror associated in Pulwama district of Jammu and Kashmir Tawantipura police conducted a search of the particular house in the village Saitabad trial in the morning the Chinese hand grenade was kept recovered from the his possession which he kept concealed in a plastic jar in the compound of his house.